Hi there, I'm Herman. I'm happy to share with you a new toolkit for Symbolic Music Generation called MuseFi. And this is a joint work with Ko Chen, Julia McCauley, Taylor, and Taylor Berkebectric at UC San Diego. So first, why MuseFi? So if you have ever tried implementing a music generation system, you must know that it takes a lot of work just to prepare the training data. Although there are some machine learning libraries like uh, PyTorch or TensorFlow for the model creation and the training parts, there aren't many tools for data collection, preprocessing, and result analysis that are dedicated for music generation. So that's why we want to build a new toolkit. We aim to provide in MusePy these fundamental routines that can be shared across systems. Now, here's an overview of the MusePy library. So most features of MusePy rely on the MusePy music class, as you can see right at the center of the figure. With the MusePy music class, we then implement the input and output interfaces, the dataset management system, and the result analysis tools. So what it is, what it's a MusePy.music class. It is a universal container for symbolic music that stores the tempos, key, and time signatures, musical notes, as well as instrument information and metadata. Also, it can be serialized into JSON and YAML formats. In MusePy, we provide several input and output interfaces. First, the native JSON and YAML formats we saw in the previous slide. Second, common symbolic music formats. Third, objects in other symbolic music libraries. And finally, common representation used in previous work. So next is about the dataset management. So in MusePy, each dataset comes with its own class. We can download and build the dataset with simple commands without having to know the details of how each dataset is organized. We can also convert the dataset into a collection of MusePy music objects. Then we can iterate over the dataset and do some analysis or some other stuff. Or we can convert it into a PyTorch or a TensorFlow dataset using the specific representation, for example, the piano representation we use here, so that we can train some uh, machine learning models, for example. So here's a list of the supported datasets in MusePy currently, and more datasets are coming soon. Then finally, the result analysis tools. So MusePy provides several evaluation metrics proposed in prior work. MusePy also provides audio rendering, score, and piano roll visualization tools. So with MusePy, now we can do some analysis that might not be easily done before. For example, we find that the 11 datasets supported by MusePy have quite different tempo, key, and length distributions. We also did some machine learning experiments on these datasets. For example, the figure on the left shows the pairwise cross dataset generalizability. In fact, these experiment results and the dataset analysis could help researchers choose a proper dataset in future research. If you want to know more about the experiments, please come to our poster. And if you want to give MusePy a try, you can simply install it by pip install MusePy. Thank you.